welcome to Saucy Cat. My name's Zoe, and angel hair is one of my favorite Italian pastas. It's my go-to for marinara sauce, garlic buttery noodles, you name it. And today, I'm feeling a light and refreshing noodle dish. So let's get jiggy with it with some Mediterranean pasta. Let's get into it. Let's start off by measuring some of our ingredients. First, we have some sliced black olives and cut artichoke hearts. I highly recommend buying pre-sliced olives so you don't have to cut them all like I did. Now goes in a couple spoons of capers. Try to include a little bit of their pickling juice so our pasta gets some added flavor. Now slice up a good portion of cherry tomatoes and mince up a couple cloves of garlic. Grab a large pan and set it to medium high heat. Drizzle in some olive oil. First thing in is our garlic, which will saute for about a minute. Next goes in the olives, artichokes, capers, and tomatoes. Cook that together for about 10 minutes, allowing the juices to flow out from our veggies and form a sauce-like mixture. Now's a good time to get our pasta going, starting with a pot of salted water. This is actually the only salt we'll be adding to the dish, as most of our veggies are salty enough on their own. Boil the angel hair per package instructions. Save about a half cup of the pasta water before straining out the water. And now for the final step. First into the pan goes some fresh kale, which I just ripped into bite-sized chunks. Now dump in the pasta along with that reserved water and give everything a good mix. The water helps to pick up the flavor from the bottom of the pan and allows it all to more evenly coat the noodles. Continue to mix on the heat for another 5 to 10 minutes. Once no liquid remains, let's plate this dish. This smells so good. Mmm. Honestly, this reminds me a lot of butter noodles, but way, way better. There's a lot of good saltiness from our veggies, and then those tomatoes help sweeten it up a bit. Well, that does it for today. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Like and subscribe so you don't miss any more future dishes. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Saucy Cat. Juicy.